Hello and welcome to Dad Got This and my six month review of the Ninja Woodfire Grill. The Ninja Woodfire Outdoor Grill and Smoker is a seven in one, all in one unit that grills, smokes, air fries, dehydrates, kind of does a little bit of everything. It's a small unit that gives you the ability to get that smoky flavor without a big complicated barbecue setup. <laughs> To be completely upfront and honest, Ninja gave me the wood fire grill. I did not have to pay for it. I got to keep it, but they didn't get any input in any of my videos. They didn't pay me any money. So everything I said in all of these videos that I've made on the Ninja wood fire grill have been my honest opinions. And honestly, I've loved it. It has been fantastic. In the six months that I've had it, I've done 10 videos, but I've used it way more than that. I probably use it two to three times a month. I'm sorry, there is a crow who has decided he'd like to be in the video. He's over there. Honestly, I use it almost weekly. It has become kind of like an indispensable part of my cooking arsenal. So one of the things I really like about the Ninja Woodfire Grill, it's just really easy to use. You don't have to deal with like loading up a charcoal hopper and getting a big basket of stuff done and like waiting for all that to go and dealing with spent charcoal later and all that hassle. It's literally a switch. If you don't wanna use pellets, you don't even have to worry about that aspect of it. You can just turn it on, use it as an air fryer, use it as a griddle. It's super easy and convenient. And as far as a smoker goes, it's the simplest thing I've ever used. You take a tiny little thing, put a couple pellets in it, throw it in, wait for it to preheat, and boom, you get awesome smoky flavor with no effort. It is the simplest way to get smoky flavor that even I can't mess up. I have messed up just about everything trying to learn how to barbecue. I've messed up ribs, I've messed up brisket. I just, it's hard to learn. It's not an easy thing to get right. With this, you just throw it in there, go, boom, great tasting flavor. Is it probably award winning the best smoke flavor you're ever gonna get? Probably not. But is it great? Yeah. I like that I can air fry outside without stinking up the house. That's one of the things that I'm, you know, it's it's great to have an air fryer in the house. It's great, but man, it'll it'll stink up your house. You know, you fry a bunch of chicken or ooh, do Brussels sprouts in your air fryer man, will your house stink. Do them outside, wonderful, no problem. I love that about having this nice little thing sitting on my porch that I can just use anytime I want. I've made beef jerky in it. Ah, oh, beef jerky's expensive. I can make my own beef jerky in this really easily. The next thing I need to make is I'm gonna make some uh, dried fruits and stuff for snacks. I can't wait to try that. But you can also do things like baking and roasting and broiling everything in this little unit right on your back patio without stinking up your house. Have I mentioned the stinking up your house thing? It's a thing that kind of bothers people in the family. It, you know, I do a lot of cooking. I do a lot of heavy seasoning and it can, it can smell the house and I will get in trouble for it quite a bit. I don't get as much trouble anymore. I like not getting in trouble. Now, when you're using the smoker, you have to use pellets. Ninja recommends that you use their pellets. Their pellets can be a little expensive. They're probably not gonna like this part of the video, but you don't have to use their pellets. I found a really great inexpensive pellet on Amazon that you can use, and I'm gonna show them to you right now. Hold on. These are the Kona pellets on Amazon. They say they are made for the Ninja Woodfire Grill in their description. I don't know if that's specific or whatnot, but they work perfect. I have had no issues with any of these pellets. They work great. I've tried all of them. They were $36 for all four of these bags. Each bag of these is two pounds. This is eight pounds of pellets. I've been doing a lot of smoking and I still have a ton of pellets left compared to the Ninja brand, which is a single two pound bag for $16. So I got eight pounds for $36 versus a single bag for $16. And I got a bunch of different flavors and they're excellent. 
I have an affiliate link for these down in the description below. It helps me out. It doesn't cost you anything, but I highly recommend these pellets. They work great for the Ninja Wood Fire Grill. One of the other things I love is the ease of cleaning. Now, I used this just the other night and I haven't actually cleaned it yet. You can see there's like a little spot on it. If I'm gonna do a big cook, I will actually throw some tin foil in here and makes it even easier to clean. You can see I've actually stained my uh, little drip pan so much because I forgot to clean it. But you can actually keep this drip pan perfect if you just line it with a little bit of tin foil and don't be lazy like me. It comes out super easy with a little bit of soapy water, very easy to clean. This is what's included with the wood fire grill if you just buy it normally. It is a ribbed cooking grate. Whatever Ninja does with their coatings is fantastic. Pretty much as soon as you are done cooking, you can just rinse this with soapy water and 90% of whatever you cooked just comes right off. A soft bristle brush and it's clean. Cleanup on these things is so easy. I use this for like kind of grilling stuff. That's pretty much my my grill grate. This is my favorite accessory that I have. It's the only accessory that I have, but it's fantastic. This is the flat top griddle. This allows you to do so much. You can do searing. I sear steaks on here. I do uh, smash burgers. Oh, smash burgers come out fantastic on this thing. You can actually uh, chop all your veggies and saute your veggies right on here. I haven't done hibachi on here, but I plan to. That is one of the next things I'm gonna do, like a, like a Kobe Japanese style meal right on the flat top. That's my next big thing that I'll be doing here on the Ninja Wood Fire Grill. Can't wait for that. But this thing is awesome. And like I said, super easy to clean. Little bit of warm, soapy water, rinse it right off, done. Is it perfect? No. Nothing is ever perfect. Do I have some things that I wish they could maybe improve about it? Yeah, I do. The first thing I wish they would improve about it is no fault of their own. Something I knew when I got it. It's a little small. I, I, I just, I, I wish I could fit bigger items on here. It's so great. It's so awesome. I want to do bigger things. I fit a pretty big pork picnic on here, but I had to cut the bone out of it and squoosh it down to get it to fit. I just wish I could fit bigger things. You can see there's a little like fan here and that circulates the air, but that makes it so you can't fit really tall items in here. I fit a full rack of ribs. You just have to be creative on how you cut them and how you arrange it in here. If they would make a Ninja Woodfire XL, I'd be all about that. That would be awesome. Ninja, if you would like to please make a Ninja Woodfire XL version, yes, I would be down for that. And I'm sure there's a bunch of people out there who would be down for that. So that's the first thing that, that you know, isn't perfect about the unit. I wish it was bigger and I could cook bigger items on it. The second thing I wish was better about it is the grill feature. I wish there was like a second setting for like sear. Because, you know, when you grill something, you know, you want it to be hot, but not too hot. But I want a sear feature that goes like to super hot. Because when I'm trying to like sear off a steak or something, I was only getting like 350, 375, I think, on my little laser thermometer when I was testing the grill feature with the flat top and I was trying to sear a steak. I, I want something that goes to like five, six, seven hundred. I want a super hot surface so that I can really get a crazy sear on steaks and items. And if it had like an additional setting to go to like a sear setting and it above the grill setting, that would be awesome. And, and those are probably really the only two drawbacks. Maybe a, a third minor one is it can sometimes take a little bit long to preheat. The preheat time can take a little while, but it's not that big a deal. You can just kind of plan that ahead of your time. Make sure you give yourself a little while and preheat. 
a couple of tips that I have for you if you're gonna be using the wood fire grill. First one is to give yourself plenty of time for that preheat cycle and do the preheat cycle. Don't skip it. You can skip it by just holding down, I believe the start stop button for three seconds and it'll skip the preheat cycle, but don't skip that. Give yourself the time to let the unit preheat. It's gonna circulate the air. Everything's gonna get better. The food's gonna cook better. Don't skip the preheat cycle. It just trust me, let it preheat. The second one is make sure that you are checking your hopper basket here on the side. Ah, make sure you're checking this thing. I'd say about every 45 minutes if you're doing any longer cooks. I've had it run out in 45 minutes. I've had it run out and go over an hour and a half. It's just been, I don't know if it's temperature, air, humidity, the pellet, I don't know. But they last variable amounts of time. So if you're trying to add smoke for longer periods of time, make sure you're checking your hopper regularly so you're adding pellets as needed. Now, if you run completely out of pellets and you need to reignite new pellets, you can do that. So you would load new pellets in and then you can just hold the wood fire button, the little flame for three seconds and then the flame will start blinking again and that means it's reigniting the pellets. And boom, you get longer smoke for those longer cooks, like if you're trying to do like a little baby brisket or something like that. Now, since I've had this unit for about six months and done quite a bit of cooking on it, it has kind of acquired a little bit of grease and grime here on inside. The little cooking area grate's got some grime. It's a little dirty. It, it, it got there. In the manual, it says, please do not use any metal scouring pads, so no Brillo pads, no abrasives, so you can't even use like Barkeeper's Friend. It says really only use like warm soapy water if you're cleaning it. But if you wanna do like a really deep clean like I wanna do, what's your option? Just give it a good soak down, not really soak down because they do not want you to submerge it. It's electrical. Don't soak it in water. Give it a little spritz with some soapy water, wipe it down, it's gonna get a little dirty. I don't know if maybe you could use a barbecue degreaser on it. Maybe if somebody else knows that answer, let me know. I don't know if there's any other better ways to clean it. If somebody knows, let me know in the comments. If you wanted to do a really good deep clean on this, is there a better way? That's my uh, six month full in-depth review of the Ninja Woodfire Grill. I love it. It's been great to me. It's gonna be a staple on my uh, back patio in my weekday cooking grilling repertoire. If I wanna get some grilled food during the week and I don't have time to do that long cook barbecue over the weekend, this lets me have some barbecue food anytime I want it, quick, fast, and easy, and it's great. If you're interested in getting your own wood fire grill, I've got a link down in the description it is an affiliate link through Ninja. It helps me out a little bit. Doesn't cost you anything extra. And there's always gonna be a coupon for Ninja down in the description below. They send me stuff all the time. I try to update it as much as I can with new coupons and discounts below. So check out the description. Dad may be uh, loving his Ninja wood fire grill. However, Dad doesn't do outros. So that's it. Bye. If you enjoyed that video, why not throw dad a good old like and subscribe and do the notification thing or leave me a comment about what your favorite part of this video was. That would really help dad out and you can go check out one of these other videos. I'm sure they're fantastic. I mean, I, I made them, so I'm pretty sure they're fantastic. All right. Yeah, do that stuff.